check these out. This is an old caboose. I believe that's what this is. One of those uh, cars where their crew could spend the night if they were on the long haul. Looks pretty cool. Has a brake light in the rear. Whichever direction it might be going. You can see the narrow door right there. It's got the coupler right here. Angle cock. It's open. So I doubt if it has any pressure in it. You have the brake right there. And when you activate the brake, it pulls on that lever then the chain becomes tight and uh, that sets the brakes manually and this lever right here is to release the pin and when you want to separate rail cars I believe and on over there you can see they had a means of tapping the air maybe to power certain things inside I'm not sure but that taps into the air system. Uh, most uh, of these units, I think on the main lines would run about 90 PSI and they go up to about 120 PSI for passenger trains. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Look at the truck. And you have an adapter there to power this uh, axle. That is crazy. Huh, I've never seen anything like this. This is absolutely nuts. Oh, that's to provide power inside. Look at that. That's a generator right there. And then you have this first reduction. And then a second, uh, then it goes over there and provides power to the caboose. Impressive. <laughs> And then here you have the control valves. I believe there should be three. A sliding, a rolling, and then a, uh, what's the third one? The one that controls <laughs> uh, a graduating valve or gradual valve, whatever it is. And then the two tanks, one for the emergency and one for the regular brake. Uh, I believe Westinghouse is the one who came up with this uh, air brake system he has the patent for it uh, Westinghouse so that really stopped a lot of the accidents that were happening in the early days of uh, when you had the early railways impressive I've never seen anything like that really impressive I don't know maybe that could be could have been to move this in the in the yard I don't know but I suspect it's to provide power when it's going down the rails uh, that's the brake cylinder right there and then you have uh, all the couplings that go to the various uh, brake pads the brake pad you can see it right here right there that's a brake pad. That looks like almost brand new. And then uh, on the other side there, you have the slack adjuster. And I believe this is for the toilet. Fresh water, brown water, uh, gray water and uh, black water. Nice caboose gives you a commanding view of uh, your surroundings when you're in the yard or traveling there used to be a window here it's closed it gives the specifications for the shoes you have the truck assembly um these ones are using this ones use leaf springs uh, most of the newer cars they use uh coil coil springs and then here you have the brake again. The lights. And 
and uh, the front uh, coupler. And that's a wear area right there because as the as the unit moves it slides back and forth and it starts wearing that down uh, newer ones have a plastic piece laying right there and these ones are also sprung because they take a lot of the back and forth motions so really nice seeing this old school uh, piece of equipment it looks really great and it looks like it had an engine in the, uh, the kitchen inside Look at the stack. <laughs> nice caboose. Thanks for watching.